Well, good morning, favorite fam. If you have ever been asked, what are you thinking about? Because you were looking off like, and someone said, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? It's very important to zone in and focus in on what you're thinking about. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned for the rest of this video. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and let us be glad in it. Yes, it is very, very important to focus in on thoughts that will bring you peace. Peace. Oh, goodness. Peace. I'm telling you, peace. There's nothing like it. And the word of God is true. So let's meditate on what God has said in his word. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love that has been shed abroad in our heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love, God. God is into all truth. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your precious blood that has cleansed us and made us complete and whole. I give you praise, Father, for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, to God be the glory, but the most important thing is peace, peace, peace. And that is why the Lord, the Lord himself is our Savior, and he is indeed called the Prince of Peace. So, your thoughts are very important. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the mouth, out of the abundance of the heart, abundance of the heart, your mouth will speak you're going to speak what's in the abundance of your heart and what you meditate on day and night goes down off into your heart and then you'll speak it and so when we accepted jesus christ as our lord and savior we accepted the word of god in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god and the word of god manifest in the flesh and we were be able to, we were able to behold the glory of god the father as the son now, God's word is truth. And to and if you say, well, God, how is God going to speak to me? He's going to speak to you through his word, which is the inspired word of God, which is the Bible. Yes, 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 the Bible. So take the time to read the Bible so that you will get words that will be encouraging to you. Listen up. God says in his word, take captive of every thought and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into obedience to Christ. So where the war is, is in thought. And we truly have to meditate on thoughts that will bring us peace and glorify God. Just like the tongue, God says no one, no one can tame the tongue. And that is true with also the thoughts. And the Bible says that God will cause our thoughts to be agreeable to his will. So we have to think on victorious thoughts, which are in Christ. Where the victory is, Jesus paid the price on the cross. He defeated the principalities, the powers, the rulers, the darkness, the wickedness, and high places. So when you get a thought... You know, you can only imagine how many thoughts come to your mind throughout the day. Ask yourself, are all these thoughts that are coming up in your thought life bringing God glory and bringing you peace? And if it's not, then you need to bring it, focus it in and bring it into the Word of God. Okay? And that will be meditating on the Word of God. Okay. Even though we live here, this place is like, you know, God says we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. So, it's not, the battle is not according to flesh and blood. It's a spiritual battle, okay? So, think on this. Every word has a spirit behind it. Hmm? Yeah. Every word that you speak has a spirit behind it. You better make sure it's the Holy Spirit. And it's more, 
is more beneficial for you to speak words from the Holy Spirit, which the Lord is the Spirit, the Spirit of Christ. So the enemy will love to speak doubt, lack, and anything else that doesn't bring God glory or bring peace to your life. So you have to find something that you have to have the word of God to pull that down, pull that thought down that's not bringing God glory. For example, you get a thought as it relates to healing. If you have a thought that's not in line with the word of God, you have to bring it into obedience to Christ and speak the word of God. It is written. And that's what Jesus did when he was in the wilderness being tempted by the enemy. He said, it is written. And he spoke the word of what was written, Father God. And you know he's God manifesting in the flesh, right? Okay. So, it is written. He spoke, it is written. And that is what you have to speak. That is what I have to speak. It is written and then the scripture. So if you have a thought in relates to healing and in, in relates to your health, bring it into obedience to Christ. Or worry, I should say. Bring it into obedience to Christ. It is written, Jesus was wounded for my transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, chastisement of my peace was upon him, and with his stripes we were healed. Yeah. So, you get a thought. Bring it into obedience to Christ. If a thought is contrary to what God's word says, it is written. By Jesus' stripes, I am healed. If you get a thought in relates to relating to your finances, a worry thought, bring that into obedience to Christ. It is written that God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. It is written. That the Lord is my good shepherd, I shall not be in lack or want. It is written that every good thing comes from God. And he has given me everything pertaining to life and godliness. Always speak the word of God. And meditate on the word of God in abundance. Okay? So, now, when people come around you who are not walking in that level of victory and they begin to speak defeated thoughts don't put your amen on it you don't have to agree with them and you don't have to be rude but you don't have to agree with something that is not in line with what God's word says the word of God says who is it speaks if God didn't command it so you can speak who is it speaking there if God didn't command it, I don't receive that in my atmosphere. I don't receive that. I shared a video the other day about your part in your day, having a great day. And this is a part of that. You still have to meditate on the Word of God. And so that you will have a blessed, victorious day. Now, the Word of God has divine power to demolish strongholds, arguments, pretensions, and that every, every that sets that everything that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. So, the the Word of God is power. The Word of God is active. The Word of God is alive. And the word of God spoken, you can receive the word of God as it is. God's word speaking it through you, rhema word, also logos word, the written word of God. But the Bible says we receive the word of God as it is the word of God. When we receive the word of God, we receive it as it is the word of God. And that is why Jesus showed us that when he said it is written. So the word of God has power to demolish strongholds. Take captive of that thought and bring it into obedience to Christ. You don't have to sit around with thoughts that are not in line with the word of God. If you prayed and you've asked God for something that you desire in your life, and God says in his word, Beloved, you know if, you heard, if I heard you, then you have what you asked for. 
So then you go through a time of thanking Father God for what you asked him for. Father, I thank you that you answered that prayer. Father, I thank you that you provide for me. I thank you, Father, that I know that I have what I asked of you because you are faithful to me. And it is written, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven, and your faithfulness is unto all generations. So it's better to just stand in faith. What do you have to lose? It's better to stand in faith versus sitting there, hmm, hmm, worrying, sighing and worrying about what? Don't let the enemy have a cobweb of thoughts. Bring those thoughts into obedience to Christ. Okay. God is not giving us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind. So if you have a thought that that um, um, that is a fearful thought or something that is a fear behind it, afraid, uh, bring that into obedience to Christ. God is not giving me a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. It is written, I sought the Lord, he heard my cry, and he has delivered me from all my fears. Bring that thing into obedience to Christ. So, this is what we are talking about today. Bringing thoughts into obedience to Christ. And this video can go on and on. But you have to take the time to get into the word of God so you can see what God says about that thing. Bring it into obedience to Christ. Bring it all into obedience to Christ. And that's where your peace will be. I pray that you have a blessed and awesome day, knowing that you have the victory in Christ, knowing that God loves you with an everlasting love, and know that you are not alone. Know that the grace of God is sufficient for you, and God makes all grace abound towards you, that you may always have whatever the need be sufficient in Christ's sufficiency, possessing enough to require no aid or support, furnishing abundance for every good work and charitable donation. You can only do this through Christ who strengthens you. Okay, so the grace of God is sufficient. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is a good scripture to meditate on throughout the day. It is written, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So blessings to you. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video blessings in the next videos remember jesus loves you and god so loved the world that he gave he gave his only begotten son y'all that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life now that's love i'll see you next time in the next video and again blessings